Now, let's take a third problem wherein you are told to compute factorial 8 minus factorial 6. Right? Now, there are two ways of doing this. The first one being you independently compute the value of these two which you did in the previous videos. The values were factorial 8 was 40320 minus factorial 6 which is 720. So you get the value as 0, 2 minus 2, 0, 13 minus 7, 6, 9, 3. So what you did was you computed the value of factorial 8, you computed the value of factorial 6 and reduced these two from each other. The second way in which you can do this is that you know that n factorial n is equal to n into factorial n minus 1 or n into n minus 1 factorial n minus 1 can be written as what? n minus 1 applying the similar formula into factorial n minus 2. Now the, why did I choose these two is because there's a division difference of 2 between these two. Okay? So you can write factorial 8 as 8 into 7 into factorial 6. How? Because if you apply this 8 factorial is equal to n which is 8 into 8 minus 1 7 into n minus 2 6 factorial minus factorial 6. So if you take factorial 6 as common it becomes 8 into 7. Factorial 6 as I told you in the previous video was 720 8 into 7 is 56 which is again equal to 39600. Right? So that's how you can do the subtraction of two factorials.